the terror group Jabba al-Nusra. A former offshoot of al-Qaeda had a training camp and a munitions depot, which were destroyed by the Russian Air Force on October 22, when it launched attacks against three jihadist sites in Syria. This came after the insurgents had repeatedly attacked Syrian government forces' positions with artillery. Regarding the attack, Badam Kilit, deputy head of the Russian Center for Reconciliation of the Opposing Parties in Syria said, the Russian aerospace forces delivered three airstrikes on terrorist targets in the Idlib governorate with the aim of preventing armed provocations by terrorists. Destroyed were an illegal armed organization stronghold, a training camp, and a munitions depot. The majority of jihadists in Syria are concentrated in the Idlib governorate in the northwest, which borders Turkey. Turkish military personnel provide supplies, weapons, and protection to these militants, and they frequently receive support from Turkish special forces that are incorporated into their ranks. A substantial Turkish military involvement on Syrian soil and significant attacks on Syrian forces thwarted a prior collaborative endeavor, spearheaded by the Syrian government with help from Russia and Hezbollah, to eradicate or expunge terrorist elements headquartered there in early 2020. Less than a week has passed since reports from Russian government forces stated that terrorist groups operating in the Idlib to escalation zone are preparing attacks using modified medium-range multiple launch rocket systems, unmanned aerial vehicles against civilian infrastructure facilities, areas where Russian and Syrian forces are stationed, and the civilian population. This is the reason behind the strike on the al-Nusra terror camps. At the time, it was promised that Syrian and Russian forces would take the appropriate preventive action. This was in line with forecasts that Turkey and other jihadist organizations operating in northern Syria under its protection and support would try to take advantage of the military attention that Syria's allies, Iran and Hezbollah, were diverting southward toward Israel in order to gain military ground in the region. In November 2022, it was reported that militants from al-Nusra and the Turkestan Islamic Party, who were supported by Turkey, were preparing a major attack on KH Maimam Air Base, Russia's most important military facility in the Middle East. At the time, the base was housing an increasing number of strategic assets that were aimed at NATO's southern flank. 